With increasing evidence to suggest a link between the gut and overall health, the importance of understanding our gut microbiome composition and the mechanistic challenges of this research has never been more important. The Nutrition Society is dedicated to advancing the scientific study of nutrition and its application to the maintenance of human and animal health. We went to find out more. At the London headquarters of the Nutrition Society, three experts in a crucial area for our well-being meet to discuss the latest findings. The incredible complexity of the gut and its importance to our overall health is an area of increasing research in the medical community. Studies in the last 20 years have shown links between gut microbiome and our immune system, mood, mental health, skin conditions and more. We've all got billions of bacteria living inside us and these bacteria, they're actually producing different things. So whatever foods we actually eat, the bacteria then get to break down the end products of those foods. So the foods we eat impact what the bacteria do and which bacteria are able to grow. And because we've got these billions of bacteria, whatever they're producing at the end can actually have an impact on health in either a positive or a negative way, depending on what we're eating and what they're getting um, at the end there. Getting the best response from bacteria depends on the amount of a particular kind of carbohydrate. Really, the, how the bacteria th flourish is from the, the fibre, so the, the non-digestible carbohydrate in our diet, which obviously avoids digestion in the upper GI tract, but once it gets further down the gut where we have this, these billions of bacteria that Gemma discussed, these are able to ferment this fibre and it produces the energy for the bacteria to flourish and again it's these end products of this fermentation process that seem to be so important to human health. It's hoped further research will help translate research outcomes into therapies for clinicians. In terms of what we can eat to actually make an impact on our gut microbial communities you've probably heard of prebiotics and probiotics and also the combination of the two symbiotics. Now, prebiotics are foods that we can eat ourselves that provide nourishment for our gut bacteria. So they're foods that aren't broken down by our own enzymes, so they get down to our gut and they're used by bacteria within and they lead ultimately to positive effects on health. And then probiotics are the live bacteria that we can actually consume and get down to our guts and have an impact on us by directly adding bacteria that might be positive to health. And then combining the two is the symbiotic approach. The Nutrition Society publishes six academic journals, of which the most recent is Gut Microbiome, a major element in its 2021 strategy. The journal uh, Gut Microbiome um, is co-owned by the Nutrition Society and Cambridge University Press and was launched because we felt there was a need for more focused papers on human gut microbiome. So that is a, a main difference from other journals that publish papers about the microbiome. Here we really focus on the human microbiome and also on the gut microbiome. Academic research can be difficult to access. The Nutrition Society wants to ensure that their findings are read as widely as possible. Open access means that your publication is immediately available. So it goes faster than the standard um, publishing of papers. Um, it also makes that it is much more easily accessible for readers and also for um, a broader audience. So also lay people can access those uh, publications and read those publications. Providing this access is key to the Nutrition Society's mission, continuing its long-standing tradition of trustworthy advice based on scientific evidence.